How's it going TCGO peeps? I am finally back with a new deck and I found some time to sit down, find me a good list, and uh, build it, work it out. It's not the most solid one, I will say this because it is always the first draft of stuff that I tend to upload before. I don't know, you guys haven't seen this on my channel, so naturally this is going to be the first time that I've done it before with you guys. You've probably seen it on other people's channel before, but yeah, I'm running tool time. Uh, tool time, I'll just kind of go into a little bit of detail for what this deck does, how it works, etc, etc, etc. But... There were a couple of cards in the new set that opened up some beautiful opportunities with, uh, believe it or not, the Trubbish, just the regular 70 HP Trubbish. And how it works is that Trubbish for 2 energy does 20 damage times the number of tools in play. This is important because Siglyph is there just to sit on the bench and hold tools because the new Siglyph from Plasma Blast can hold up to 4 tools on it. And that adds up really quick. So as you can see, I've already got 60 tools. Not 60 tools. That would be a lot of damage. I have 60 damage in tools because of the three tools on my side of the field. And then if I were to fill up completely, I would have 80, 100, 120, 140, thanks to the Surskit. But if I put down another Siglyph, that's another four tools. Anytime I put down a, Sir a Siglyph, it's like another 80 damage. So if I can get it all the way loaded up. Now, the Masquerade in this deck is because it has an ability called Tool Reversal, which as often as I like, I can pick up my tools, put them back in my hand, which, es which essentially means because you're allowed to put down as many tools as you want and Masquerade creates the two-way road, you have complete freedom of your tools and how you want to put them down in any way whatsoever. If I decide, hey, I don't want this silver mirror on my Trubbish and I want a silver bangle now or I want a float stone to be able to retreat it, that whole shebang, that's fine, go for it. And then this deck doesn't like Tool Scrabber but is not horribly phased by it because it can only discard two tools at a time. If I really need a silver mirror back that was discarded, I can use Dowsing Machine, which is my ace back in this deck. Other than that, people tend to play tools of their own on like Keldeos and stuff like that, as you can see. So it kind of compensates okay because I was at 60 damage output with the Trubbish. Now I'm at 40 because he's got a Floatstone. So it's not that bad. I got two more tools in hand as well. And depending on what the rest of his hand looks like, uh, this Surskit will turn into a Masquerine. We'll be able to get out of there thanks to the uh, Floatstone in my hand. And then we'll be able to put the Floatstone on anything else it wants to. So unfortunately, he puts down a Deoxys and has the Veerbank Laser, except all he really needed was the, uh, he just needed the Veerbank Laser and the Kyurem. The Deoxys was just kind of overkill, but it does ensure that he will be able to knock out a Trubbish. He is letting me know that he knows what the fuck is up. So right now, I'm deciding which one to promote. I'm not really a fan of this. I missed an energy drop on turn one too, but I can level ball right here, get myself a Siglyph because I want to get something to put tools down on. So I figure we'll put the experience share on that Trubbish, and then I'll put down that on Siglyph. And then I believe I'm also going to put down an energy on that little dude, get the Veerbank out of play. Uh, and I do want to super rod one Surf get back in just so I have better odds of hitting it. And then I draw no more tools. That's what this deck is about. You chock it full of tools and you put them on stuff and then you're good. Unfortunately, I did not think I was going to draw into a mirror anytime soon because now I can't put the mirror on the active Trubbish to protect it from nearly everything in this man's deck except for Keldeo because that's the only non-plasma attacker. The new item Silver Mirror prevents any damage that you might have going on from any plasma Pokemon. So, Kirim's plasma, Deoxys is plasma, the other Kirim he put down is plasma, and the Kirim he has in the active is plasma. So, he put a DCE on Keldeo because that's the only attacker he has for this deck in, this de in his deck. So, it turns out he ends me into a hand I'm perfectly okay with. Um... I get a Trubbish, I get another Psychic Energy, and then it turns out that he, I believe, is going to try to knock out this one, which I'm totally cool with. Uh, I think he can get the, yeah, he can get the knockout because of the, uh, what you call it, because of the Deoxys, it pushes him an extra 10. So, right here, uh, I need to discover what I'm going to do. I can protect that one from damage, and I can put Float Stones on everything because yeah 
Uh, I already coaxed a scrapper out of him, so I'm not that scared of whatever might happen next. And then it turns out I get that. I get... Do I want to put that down? I don't. I want to put down that, and then I want to put down... It's either another Trubbish or another Siglyph. This is, like, one of my first couple of games, so I don't really know what's priority for this deck, like, what kind of goal it wants to accomplish. But I finally tool drop, and because there's nine tools in play, it does 180 damage. And all he has at this point to respond to my Trubbish is my Keldeo. Or, no, his Keldeo. So, if I can get another energy, because I have the experience share on that bench rubbish, then I'll, yeah, I'll just be good to knock out that Keldeo. I just need one more tool in play, I believe, as well. If I can just get the Bangle off the Siglyph, I think it might compensate. I'm not 100% about the mental math right there. But he finally does get two special energies on the Keldeo, just to knock out my Trubbish, because, as I mentioned, that's the only attack he has going on for this thing. So... I'm going to promote one of my Siglyphs that has a floatstone on it, and we'll just go to work from here. So, I'm finally able to get my Masquerade in play, and I guess keep it in play? I had one in my hand. I guess I was thinking of a different game. And at this point, I've lost a Trubbish, so I might as well put a Siglyph down. I do want to keep a queue of Trubbishes going, but if I draw into some tools, I can keep said tools. So, I'm going to... Oh, no, what? That one doesn't have an experience here. That one has a Silver Mirror. Ew. okay that kind of sucks uh i'm gonna tool reversal right here i'm gonna get the floatstone off of this one and put it onto the benched one because it's if the active one gets knocked out somehow then that would kind of suck um i think i'm gonna put the silver mirror on that one too just to prevent damage from plasma pokes keep my tool banks safe and then I believe I'm going to Tropical Beach for 3 because I have nothing else I can do until I get a Trubbish and it's got some energy going on with it. So, uh, his Keldeo, you don't see this, like, at all. You don't see Keldeo becoming a main attacker, but to be honest, I already coaxed a Tool Scrapper out of him. I don't know if he's the kind of guy that runs 2, um, but I honestly think he should have waited for more mirrors to be in play before he used it because now I can just get as many mirrors in play as I want minus whatever he scrappered at the beginning. I can't remember if he did. I feel like he scrappered a bangle and an experience share or something that I'm not really that phased by. And he can just do damage to me with uh, Keldeo, but after I knock out Keldeo, everything else gets blocked hard and anything that has a mirror attached to it, he cannot touch. So he will do... Uh, I think he's... No, I don't think he can knock out the Siglyph. If he had a laser in hand, he could have. But this is just him worrying about his end of the field. He can just get his energy back on his things. It's whatever. Uh, Siglyph does have the weakness to electricity. So right here, I do have a dowsing machine, which I can use to get back a tool. And I'm looking to see what I have discarded. There's a uh, couple of tools in there. So I don't really need the Surskit and the Level Ball right here. I've got most of the stuff I want in play, so I figure I might as well get a tool back in play. But which one is more important to me? I decided Experience Share just because I don't have uh, any energy in hand after this, so I do want to keep the Trubbish line going and just keep the energy flow relatively smooth. So right here, I'm going to drop a Silver Mirror, I believe, on the Trubbish I plan on promoting. No? Am I not? Okay. I guess I'm going to do some reversal stuff. So Floodstone's going back in my hand off of that one. To retreat that active one, go into my bench Trubbish, and I believe I am going to reversal again to get the... What am I doing? I'm doing that, and then I'm realizing right now that Siglyph has two mirrors. Or Am I putting a bangle? I don't need to put a bangle. That's kind of reckless. Oh, you know what? Maybe Maybe I got the wrong silver thing going on. I can totally see me doing that. Yeah, that's probably what I did. Or no, I guess I'm just putting a mirror on that to protect it, and I just don't feel like bothering with the mental math. And I'm like, you know what? Trubbish is all out with the bangle. Um, frick. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing anymore? There's, I'm swimming. How do I even hold all these tools? Anyway, tool dropping the Keldeo for 230 damage. Because it's no big deal. It actually kind of is. Um, I'm pretty sure he was waiting for that, because I think all he needs is a Veerbank laser. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he can get me out with this one. Or he can just an attach he can attach an energy to Absol and then he can just knock out my Trubbish. So not what I'm looking forward to, but it uh, I do have another Trubbish in line with an experience share, so it'll get one off of that active one. And then I can just attach from hand. And then if that one does have a mirror, we shall be good to go. Um What do we have going on here? I gotta look. I gotta think. So yeah, he's course machining onto that. 
And how many tools do I have in play? I'm going to lose that one on the active trubbish. I know that for a fact. I have one on Masquerine, three on that Siglyph, two on... Uh, so let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's... Uh, 140. There is another one on his Kiram, so that's 160. I can't tell if there's any tools on those other things over there, but after I lose out on this bangle, I'll be sitting at 160 for my damage output, which I'm sure I have more tools in my deck. This deck, like a fourth of it is tools. It's pretty ridiculous. If I were to Juniper right now, I'd lose out on a lot of stuff, but I'm pretty sure I would hit at least one more tool. I don't want a Juniper though. That's kind of scary to do that at that point but he's gonna mind jack for like 130 or something like that i don't know it's something really yeah it's 130 so i get to experience share that onto that little guy and i'm glad i didn't have experience share on any other things because having that energy there would have been kind of pointless but i get to do that i get to i believe i'm going to tool reversal because i don't want the experience share on that one and I think I'm checking for another trubbish I do not have another trubbish but I do have another mirror believe it or not that mirror is going to be crazy crazy important and I will explain why because he actually has a prize lead he needs two prizes to win the game here and there are two things that do not have silver mirrors on them so it's gonna be a race for me to get that fourth silver mirror uh, onto one of my bench Pokemon before it ends up dying. So I decided to end him because although I'm probably not going to draw into it, I stand better odds. Oh, also, I get to put back all the Trubbishes back in my deck. Uh, I probably would have been better off with just putting two in one, that kind of thing. And I miss out on the KO on the Thunderous, which is kind of a huge downer. The cool thing, though, is I have a Bianca, so I can just draw for five or four potentially on the next turn, hopefully hit that mirror. But it will protect my Masquerade. And then now that I have two Siglyphs, they're not fully loaded up, but I have a Trubbish, which has the energy. I have the Masquerade, which once it has the mirror on it, will be protected by everything on his side of the field. If he doesn't run a second Keldeo or a second Scrapper, it is over. I have him completely on lockdown. So at this point, if this were a game of chess, I would be in a check position. And all I need is the mirror. That's all we're waiting for. And I have a draw card. I have the means to get it. He didn't end me out of that draw card. Although, if he end me, I don't have a lot left in my deck. So, coming into the mirror slash another draw supporter would be something that's pretty likely. I'm looking for only one card. But I think Dowsing Machine is a little more important than Computer Search in general. Because you just kind of draw into an excess of stuff. So, there's not really anything you're looking for in particular. Because on the tool side, you're crazy consistent. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff at all. But on the Pokemon side, you're still pretty consistent. I mean, you got four Trubbishes, you have four Siglyphs, and then you have two two on the Masquerade line. And then, I don't know, you can kind of tweak at supporters, tweak at tool lines, that kind of thing. And he's committed at this point that he is just going to put another Deoxys down and try to go for the Siglyph on the right and the Masquerade. And that's it. And he just adds a Floatstone because for whatever reason, he wants to help me out. What a pal. I think he just put it down just to be able to use the bicycle. In hopes that he would, I don't know, fucking draw a catcher or something. But he's going to Frost Beer right here, which does zero damage to the active because zero. And then, well, because Silver Mirror technically, but zero because zero. So gets another prize off of that one. And then I'm going to see if I can draw into that damn mirror. I do not want to put down that Siglyph because I won't be able to protect it. And I don't hit it. I hit the Bangle, which I do not like to see. But I believe I can knock out this Kiram right now as well. I think... Am I going for the Kiram? I feel like I could be going for the Kiram. Uh, I'm really scared of him having a catcher at this point. Because if he has a catcher, the game is over. Um, there's 10 cards left in my deck. I'm trying to decide what is the appropriate play here. And I'm realizing because of all the threats he has and the potential of him having a catcher... And he's probably out of float stones as well. I decide to catch up the Oxus because I'm going to stall for a little bit until I can hit that mirror. If I were to knock out something right now and he had that catcher in hand, that would have been really unfortunate. But now he has to put two energy on the Deoxys in order to retreat it and go into something that can knock out Masquerade. And then if it can't knock it out in one shot, I can just tool reversal off a of float stone, put it back on. The tools give me a lot of flexibility right now. So he's like everything on his side of the bench outside of his deoxys is like completely fucking ready to attack and like the instant he hits a catcher that's it uh, like i cannot stress enough how important 
it is that I get the mirror before he gets the catcher. So I don't have anything I want to drop that energy on, nor do I really see myself needing anything else. Do I need that energy? I don't know what to do with it. Am I ending? If I'm ending, then that's... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna end him down to one, so it's less likely for him to have said catcher. And then it turns out that I believe I'm going to reversal off the mirror and put a float stone onto the Trubbish to get rid of its poison. There's no rush treat shenanigans going on here. But the Siglyph is still protected by it, so I'm not too worried by it yet. So I'm going to put the... I think I have to reversal off the float stone again. Which is kind of a pain, but this deck would seem like it'd be really fun to play in real life. So it looks really cheap too, so I actually am thinking about playing it. Um, but I'm going to beach because I want to get that mirror, and I get the mirror. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at that. Four things on my side of the field. Four mirrors. Complete and total plasma lockdown. And it turns out he has to beach right there too. So hit the mirror. He was probably not looking forward to seeing that, but it now means that I can just... I don't know why it lets me retreat. It gives me the option to retreat, and I should not be able to retreat. Or do I have... I guess... Oh, no, wait. You know what? I probably had a float stone on that one. Whatever. That's fine. I, there was a glitch in a later game where I know I didn't have a float stone, and my opponent had a float stone attached to something and it counted it it was really weird but i'll definitely look into that later um but yeah i it's game at this point unless he has a scrapper that i haven't seen yet if it's his last prize card that really sucks but shut down cannot do anything total prize denial and it's just a matter of me knocking out one more thing so i forget what i'm waiting for um i guess i'm gonna skip ahead until he actually does something because i don't think there's anything he can do and believe it or not, the man actually has a faint glimmer of hope lying in his deck. He has the Hypnotoxic Laser. And if he manages to hit every single, like, tails possible for me waking up slash the heads on the laser in the first place, he could win. And that would be a really chump way to win, but that is an actual valid way to win because my Trubbish would die to poison damage. I don't run any switches in this deck. Although, thinking about this immediately after, it would be a wise idea to try to squeak in a switch or two somewhere. I probably don't need four tropical beaches at all. I could get away with running two, something along those lines. That's not that bad. So, two, three? I feel like, I feel like three would be a good number. Why not? We'll go with that. Anyways, I'm poisoned, and I have, uh, let me see, when it passes to his turn, it'd be 20, so 30, 40, 50. I have like what two turns two turns potentially but it's like two back and forth so i in reality have like f four opportunities to wake up if i hit four tails in a row on this then i basically lose because i won't wake up at all and i'll just yeah it's kind of shitty um he's doing zero with this can't touch me and i don't wake up uh mama mia I don't, uh, uh, okay, catch up the Deoxys because he's out of float stones, and I know it's a good stall, and oh my god, I'm not waking up, this Trubbish needs to wake up, this Trubbish, I cannot stress to you how badly this Trubbish needs to wake up, like, horribly badly, and I'm also realizing that Genesec can completely bypass Silver Mirror with G Booster, but I haven't run into any Verizion Genesec decks yet as of playing this. So it'll be an interesting time if I do. So I don't know. I honestly don't know what's with the signs. I'm like staring very angrily at the Trubbish on my screen. And he decides to end because he's actually running out of cards in his deck. Uh, and I'm just going to click. And yeah, he end himself into shit. I don't know what he was expecting. He had shit left in his deck. He's going to draw shit. And I wake up and I pound the stupid Deoxys face in for 440 damage that was pretty cool Trubbish did like 1400 damage at the end of it because crazy Trubbish is nuts this deck is nuts this deck is cheap because everything in it is common and it's really fun you guys should definitely give it a shot but it was kind of a long game because I don't know I, I honestly don't know why it came out to be like 19 minutes but it was TCGO and I hope you guys enjoyed it so if you did you can leave a like rating comment and subscribe and do your thing and I will definitely see you guys on the next one goodbye